We all know that New Orleans is home to po' boys, beignets, gumbo, and etouffee. With cultural influences from Haiti, French, Spanish, Italy, and even West Africa and Native America, the city offers visitors a very unique culinary tradition, which many of us often refer to as Creole food. On top of that, it also has a vibrant drinking culture, which adds further to its liveliness. So what are the best restaurants New Orleans has to offer? Today, we'll talk about 10 dining establishments in the Big Easy that not only serve delectable dishes, but also deliver a -a one-of-a-kind experience and unbeatable hospitality. So you better keep watching. Number 10, Dookie Chase. The late great queen of Creole cooking, Chef Leah Chase, founded and operated this southern restaurant in Treme. The interior has a very classic look with chandeliers, red walls, and white linens. Despite her passing in June 2019, her legacy as a pioneer in Southern hospitality endures. Throughout her life, she and her spouse, Dookie, shared their knowledge of how to show others how to be hospitable and how it can benefit those in their vicinity. Its long history is what makes Dookie Chase a special place. In addition to serving mouth-watering Southern fare to patrons for over 70 years, the establishment tells a tale of community, resilience, and revolution. Additionally, the most well-liked dish here is the beans and rice, just like in many other Creole restaurants. This dish is very creamy in flavor. Fried chicken's also a must-try. Number 9, Adis Ethiopian Kitchen. As you may have guessed from its name, this restaurant on the 7th Ward serves Ethiopian food, but it does much more than that. You'll be surrounded by catchy quet music as soon as you walk past the front door, which will make you want to wiggle a little. Then, in addition to the smoking incense burner out front and the posters lining the wall, the delightful scent of Burberry will soon arouse your senses. You may find the items on Ada's menu a little confusing, especially on the first visit, but once you catch up, placing an order here will be a snap. The menu's offerings can generally be divided into two categories, spicy chicken or beef stew and fresh vegetables. You must eat by hand in this place, that much is clear. You should also become acquainted with injera, a soft flatbread that serves as both a plate and utensil. Number 8. Melba's This hidden gem is open day and night and serves mostly people food from New Orleans. There are crowds of people and large screens everywhere you look, giving the place a somewhat chaotic atmosphere. The menu can also be a little bit overwhelming as well. It's very colorful and has an extensive number of items on it. Make sure you know what you want to order before you arrive at the counter. Then after waiting for a few minutes, the guy behind the counter will call your name, which indicates that your order's ready. There's a room off to the side with a bar and some seating. You can enjoy your meal and order a daiquiri there. Number seven, AU Bakehouse. This one's among the best places to get a cup of hot coffee and freshly made pastries. Oftentimes, you'll find jalapeno cornbread cookies, chocolate babka king cakes, and muffaletta breadsticks on the menu. But if you're looking for a warm and sugary breakfast treat, try the Kaya Buns, which have a pandan leaf and coconut milk custard inside. Both Samantha Weiss and Kelly Jacques are skilled bakers, and it's a visual feast to watch them at work in the open kitchen. Additionally, when you go, don't forget to order some pastries for later. After a night of drinking and exploring the city, the king cakes and cookies from AU Bakehouse are really the perfect midnight snack. 6. Liuzas If you want to experience the more classic side of New Orleans, then you can make a stop at Liuzas on Beanville. It's been the same for years, untouched by all the modern things that have transformed the city. In addition to local memorabilia on the walls and vinyl-covered tables, you can also see decade-old posters from Tippy Tina. When it gets very busy, you might have to share a table with some strangers. You shouldn't complain about it. The classic favorite here is the Eggplant Parmesan Po' Boy. It features fried eggplant with provolone cheese and red tomato gravy. You'll also be happy if you're a fan of refreshing drinks. The beer here is so cold that they have ice crystals in it. If you want something that packs a punch, go for the Bushwhacker. Frozen drink that comes with cream to cocoa, dark rum, and coffee liqueur. Be careful, though, because this thing can get quite dangerous. Number 5. Paladar 511. The crew members at Paladar 511 do simple things, but they do it with a high level of precision and accuracy. The restaurant is located right down the street at Boberg Morani neighborhood. It has an industrial style, and it features large windows that let a decent amount of natural light into the brick-walled room. The lemon ricotta pancake is the first thing you should order here. It 
is not only fluffy, but also massive and tasty. Before you cut a slice, make sure you pour all of the syrup. Also, don't forget to order the tuna crudo. The great thing about this dish is that the guys in the kitchen will make the crudo according to the seasonal ingredient. Number four, Brixton's. It's just to not love Brixton's. Located inside a cozy and snuggly cottage in the uptown area, this family-owned restaurant's been operating for more than 35 years. Frank and Marna Brixton, the husband and wife duo, were the ones running this place. The way they manage this business makes a visit here feel like a mix between dining in an upscale restaurant and paying a visit to the home of relatives. Here, the pan-fried rabbit is a house specialty. After being shallow fried, it's drenched in a delicious Creole mustard sauce. It's rare to find this traditional dish on restaurant menus these days. Get the sea platter if you want to sample a little bit of everything. It has baked scallops, stuffed shrimp, and grilled redfish. You can see the seafood takes center stage here because it's not overshadowed by anything else. Number three, Galatois. Are you trying to find a romantic setting for a date? If you plan to stay in the French Quarter, book a table at Galatois. You might even take them here for Friday lunch. Get the trout amandine and palm souffles, which are double fried potato wedges. Next, have a flaming hot coffee drink called a Café Brulot, which comes in a chafing dish with booze within. For the best lunch experience, you might have to get in line before 11.30 a.m. to get a downstairs table. The waiters, who are always wearing tuxedos, will tend to you after you take a seat. Generally speaking, it's the place to go if you want to make sure that everyone knows you're in New Orleans and having a good time. Number two, Bacchanal. Great wines are hard to come by in New Orleans, but Bacchanal is one of the few that sell them. They offer excellent wines that are frequently overlooked and have something to suit every budget. Additionally, the place exudes a very relaxed vibe. One of the employees will ask you, hey, what do you want to drink today? As soon as you walk past the front door. Despite the casual setting, everyone here has a good knowledge of the products. In fact, this place has been nominated for a James Beard Award twice. They'll not only recommend you a good bottle, but also tell you what kind of cheese to get from the reach-in cooler. They'll set up the whole thing, and you can just wait on your table. Number one, Bywater American Bistro. Situated on the outskirts of the French Quarter, Bywater is one of the high-end dining establishments in New Orleans. It prepares food using cutting-edge methods and premium ingredients, allowing guests to savor tasty meals in an elegant setting. All in all, a dinner here is akin to being invited to a stylish studio apartment, but with a professional host overseeing the rooms and a trained chef running the kitchen. The oyster here is a must-try. It comes with gravy and rice, and it tastes so comforting. The hamachi tartare is also a great option. It features smoked swordfish belly, melon kosho, and caviar. It's also a good idea to order something steamed on the side to balance the dish, don't worry if you're unable to get a table at the restaurant area, though. The bar also has a decent seating area, and there are tasty food options as well. The takeaway. With mesmerizing sculptures in the city park, talented street performers of the French Quarter, and numerous locally run festivals, New Orleans has long been one of the greatest places in the U.S. to let loose and have a good time. But if you take a look beyond the touristy areas, you'll also see that it's also a great place to try out new flavors and satisfy your appetite. Guys, also make sure to make the right accommodation choice for yourself in New Orleans by watching the best hotels in this beautiful city and the video being displayed on your screen in the top right corner. See you in the next video.